Good morning, dear students. I know you all are having a really difficult time coping up with this deadly disease and staying at home without your books. I, at my end, I'm trying my best to bring in this topic of chemical reactions and making things a little simpler and easier for you all to understand. I would want all of you to please jot down all these important points which I'm discussing with you people today in whichever notebook you are doing your chemistry work. So to start with, we will be discussing the chapter on chemical reactions, which is divided into three parts. The first part contains conditions necessary for a chemical reaction, characteristics of a chemical reaction, and types of chemical reactions. Now the first two topics, we have already covered them in class 7th. The third topic types of chemical reactions are the ones which we will be studying in detail in class 8. But before we do that, let us do a review on the definition of a chemical reaction. Any chemical change in matter which involves transformation into one or more substances with entirely different properties is called a chemical reaction. What happens in a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction involves breaking of chemical bonds between atoms or groups or groups of atoms of reacting substances and rearrangement of atoms making new bonds to form new substances. Now what does this mean? This actually involves absorption that is taking in of energy or evolution that is release or giving out of energy in the form of heat or either light. Now to illustrate this particular description we have taken a simple very simple example of hydrogen and oxygen to form water. Now in this particular reaction two molecules of hydrogen combine with oxygen to form two molecules of water. Now here two molecules of hydrogen. Now this particular thing is basically showing the two different molecules of hydrogen. One molecule of hydrogen is formed with the help of this bond. If you can see this line, this line actually means it is a bond which is formed between one hydrogen atom and another hydrogen atom. So this entire thing is one molecule of hydrogen. So there are two molecules of hydrogen combining with one molecule of oxygen. So O single bond. Here this particular line actually represents a bond that means a force of attraction between a between the two oxygen atoms these combine together to form they are rearranging themselves to form water molecule which is nothing but h o and h so this bond this single dash or line also represents bond so this is what is meant by rearrangement of molecules now what is a chemical bond it is the attractive force that holds the atoms of a molecule together in a compound. So the force of attraction that holds molecules together in a compound is known as a chemical bond. Now, moving further, we will now discuss what are the different types of chemical reactions. So there are in all five types of chemical reactions, combination, decomposition, displacement, double displacement or du double decomposition and redox also known as oxidation or reduction reaction. Today we will be discussing the combination or direct combination reaction. In simple terms a reaction in which two or more substances combine together to form a single substance that is a compound is called a combination reaction and the general form of this equation is A plus B giving AB. That means A could be any one substance, B would be another substance and AB is the compound being formed by the combination of A and B. Now there are three basic types of combination reactions. First one is when two elements combine to form a single compound. That means an element plus an element combining to form a compound and such reactions are called synthesis reaction. Now students please take care that synthesis is only that particular combination reaction where two elements are combining. If two elements are combining then only that particular reaction, two elements are combining to form a compound only then that particular reaction is known as a synthesis reaction. 
So just to recall, elements are those substances which are formed from same kind of atoms. Now taking the example of carbon and oxygen forming carbon dioxide. Now here carbon is one element, oxygen is another element forming CO2 which is a molecule and is also a compound. So two elements combine to form a single compound. Another example of iron plus sulfur forming iron sulfide. This is another example where two elements are combined to form a single compound. So this was one type of a combination reaction. Now second type of combination reaction is one in which element and element and a compound combine to form a new compound. So there would be one element, one compound and the final product will also be a single compound. CO carbon monoxide plus O2 giving carbon dioxide is another example where one compound is combining with an element to form a single compound. Another example nitric oxide NO combines with O2 to form nitrogen dioxide NO2. So compound combining with an element to form a compound. Another example sulfur dioxide SO2 plus O2 giving SO3 to SO3. So this is another example of a combination reaction where a compound is combining with an element to form a compound. And all these examples we had done in class 7th. Now moving forward towards the third type of combination reaction where two or more compounds can combine to form a single compound. So here two compounds are combining to form a single compound. Ammonia, a pungent smelling gas, combines with hydrogen chloride, HCl, to form ammonium chloride, which is NH4Cl. So here two compounds combine to form a single compound. Sodium oxide plus water forming sodium hydroxide. Here again two compounds are combining to form a single compound. SO2, sulfur dioxide plus water forming H2SO3. Sulfurous acid is another example of two compounds combining to form a single compound. Now based on whatever we have studied to today, I am giving you one question with the answer which is a reasoning question. So if the question is asked to you people that the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water is a combination reaction, what, would, what is the reason? Now, since in this particular reaction, there are two elements, hydrogen and oxygen are two elements, they are combining to form water, which is a single compound. So, two elements are combining together to form a single compound, that is water, therefore it is said to be a combination reaction. Now, based upon whatever we said today, I have asked you a few questions over here. So, give reasons for the following questions. First one, the reaction between iron and sulfur to form iron sulfide is a combination reaction. Give equations also. So here I would want you to write both molecular as well as your word equations. The reaction between ammonia and hydrogen chloride to form ammonium chloride. Please do a little correction here. It is a combination reaction. Give equations also. So in both these reactions, you can take help from the example which I just stated and write the answers and the below mentioned equations classify them as element plus element giving compound element plus compound giving a co compound and compound plus compound giving a compound so these are the set of equations which you need to write and you have to classify them in the above mentioned way whether these belong to any of these category okay so this is going to be your assignment for this week i hope you all have understood the topic which i discussed with you people today so just take care of yourselves, stay home and stay safe. Take care.